So now we have an enemy, and if the enemy hits us, the room restarts, but we can do something else, which is have lives, and let's look at that. Okay. Uh, first thing you want to do is set the lives. You add event, other, game start, and lives are kind of the same thing as slower. Lives, uh, three lives, usually. Okay. And that does it when the game starts. And um, when you hit the enemy, you want the lives to go down one, negative one, relative. Sure. So if you have three lives, you go down to two. If you have three lives, you go down to one. Yeah. And um, you'll want a free life object. So we're going to create another sprite. So we want to be able to get a free man, and yeah. you do that by finding this guy. Yeah. You want to grab this. Sure, you can't draw a banana or something. Come on, draw a banana. Okay. Okay. So that's our free life. Yeah. And he doesn't do anything. He just sits there. And in the collision So if with we him, collide with him... Then the lives go up one. Relative. And um, put the destroy event... Destroy the other one. So that... Uh, the lives don't keep going up and up and up and up. Okay, so just so we we understand, this is the property of the player object, object zero. And on collision with the free life object, not only do we get a free man, but we also destroy the other object, the free life object, so that we can't keep running into it and running up the number of lives. Yeah, this was also done in the collision with the point object. Right so that you can't destroy. keep running up your score. You destroy it so that it only happens once. Yeah. And in when we have no more lives, that's also in the other, then we want to um, show the high scoreboard. Okay. We also want to say game over? Yes. Um, no background, show, and, and um, we'll show the message, uh, you died, all your lives, and Show the high score table. Right. And you can also ask the player a question. Wanna play again? Mm -hmm. It's check question. If the user answers yes to the question, then restart. Where you start the game? There you go. And um, else, end the game. Okay. So yeah. Some basic logic control to have as an outcome of running out of lives. Yeah. And we also want to add event create. Um, set the score and lives caption. We want to show the lives, and the caption will be lives. Okay. We're not going to show the health because we don't have health. Okay. That's a concept where the ability of the player diminishes or increases, but we're not going to bother with that. Yep. And we're going to show the score. Show. Okay. 
Now we're going to put the free life object in the room. You usually want to put it at hard to get places. So I'm going to put it here because you usually don't want to bother to go around all the way up here, down here, just to get one little measly thing. Right. So, okay. yep, put it there. And, and here. So. So, we'll test that. We'll first look at the caption and see that we've got a score and we have a certain number of lives. So, I'm going to go. Keep scoring. Taking a risk going down here. Lives. But I get a new life. And I just got missed down there. So now my number of lives went up. Yep. Score's going up. Make sure I avoid him. And I get to go to the next level. So my score is 7. And I'm starting out down here. But I got killed. So the number of lives on the feet. Because you got the extra life? Yep. And I'm just going to keep scoring and hopefully avoiding these guys and trying to get up to the free life here. Randomness is on my side until I run into him. Yep. I died. I go down to two lives now. That's right here. Pretty hard game. So far. Down to one life. And, and let's, let's just die. <laughs> you die all your lives. And shows the high score. You got 21 points. Yep. And you can name yourself whatever you want. And want to play again? Nope. So, yeah.